Say hello to my little friend. Hello, my little friends. We're learning today a song by Suzanne Vega called Luca, a song from 1987. I'm going to get straight into the chords, but if you want to learn more about the UV and how it works, how it fits together, how you can understand it better, I'll go into all that after the tutorial. So let's go straight in. First chord is C major. We're just going to do a simple C major here. Second chord is a chord of, well, it's, it's G on a bass of C. It's like this. Okay. Third chord is kind of F, still on a bass of C. Like this. And then the fourth chord is what we call a suspension. It's a G. It's a G like this. Then we go back to C. So if you want me to explain about suspensions and you want me to explain about what, what I mean by the chords being on a base of C and how I've come up with these chords, I'll explain all of that at the end. I'll just go through why, how that works. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Got it? Okay, now we're on to what I call the bridge. This song doesn't really have verse and chorus as such, but we can split it up that way just for the purpose of learning the chords. So this will be the bridge now. On to the bridge. And the first chord of the bridge is a chord of A minor. We're going to play it like this. There's lots of ways, by the way, of playing all these chords but I'm picking the ones that I think are best for the song. So this is the A minor we're choosing for this chord, for this bridge. And then we go to a straight G chord. And then back to the A minor. And then back to the G. And that section goes like this. If you hear something late at night kind of trouble, some kind of. And now we're into the chorus. It's not really a chorus, but I'm calling it the chorus so that you know what we're doing. And that is two chords, really. We're going to go back to our G suspension, but we're going to start with an F chord. That's our F chord. And now to the G suspension. Again, doing the suspension twice. And then going back to the F again. And again. F. And now we go back to the verse and that also becomes the intro. So the verse chords are also the intro chords. through now for you so you can see how it works. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. If you hear something late at night, some kind of trouble, some kind of fight, just don't ask me what If you're struggling with this, as even I was there, when you're actually singing, just make it the one suspension. So, just don't ask me what it was. Just don't ask me what it was. Just don't ask me what it was. And we're straight back in. Yes, I think I'm okay. So I'm going to go into my little discussion now about the whole song. hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. hope it works for you. hope you have great fun singing that song. Um, C 
C major is a great, great key to play with the ukulele because it's set up for it, unlike the guitar which is set up for chords like for G's and E's and A's. The uke is really set up for, for C. Because our lowest string, at least on this tenor uke here, is the second string here, or the third string technically, but I think of it as a sec it's the second one I come to as I look down. It's this one here. Uh, that's the C string. That's your lowest string. And this one is actually higher, unlike the guitar where they get higher as you strum. We've got this C string here. Now, I started with a C chord here. That's a great C chord because it's, it's a perfect arpeggio. Now, the whole idea behind this song is that you've got the C bass line droning along with the other chords changing over the top of it. I'm going to demonstrate that quickly with the keyboard here. So what we've got is we've got the C and and then we drone uh, we drone the C while playing the other chords over the top. So the C and that C also becomes the suspended note. You can see how important the C is in this song. It's a very, very important note. Um, so that's that string there. We want that to be sounding through every chord. We don't want to be changing it to anything else. To keep that sense, that drama, which comes from Bach, believe it or not, of the single bass note underneath while the chords change on top. So, first chord C, second chord. We've got G, C, and then this E string has been changed to a G, and then this A string has been changed to a B. We've not got a D in this G chord. Why not? Because we would have to use our, our C string to make that D, and that would, that would spoil the whole thing. See? It doesn't have the same ring to it. We want the tension there. So we leave that C string as an open C string, we don't change it like we would normally for a G. And there's the G chord. And then when we come in with the F chord, we want to achieve the same kind of feel, don't we? We want to have that C. So let's try it with an ordinary F. It works. It sounds a little bit too bright though. This string is singing a bit too much. So if we let go of it, that goes back to a rather nice G. And Although not technically correct, perhaps, with the song, it creates a ninth, it creates an F ninth. So it should be there. And that continues to hold the tension. Now, why is that, the, why is that a good note to stick in there, to just chuck in there? Because that ninth for the, for the F chord is the G, it's the note G, which is the note for, obviously, the G chord. So it really links that really, really nicely. So that's why I've chosen those particular inversions of the chords. Um, when we get to the, what I call the bridge, that's my favourite A minor anyway. It's a simple A minor chord. And this is the simple G. Nothing much to say about that. And again, here we're using the full F chord. So we, we, we're changing that. You might prefer to use the ninth that I taught you. The F ninth. You might prefer to use that for the chorus. But I like the way it opens up. just it's a full chord it's a full chord that's Luca from Suzanne Vega 1987 song a um, little bit of history tiny bit of history about the song it got to number one in Sweden it got to number one in Poland uh, Suzanne Vega says that she had some children that used to play outside her where she lived I think in New York one of them was called Luca and they were just a little bit of an odd one out from the other kids so she wrote this song about an abused child it 
that child, as far as she knows, was not abused, was perfectly happy, but um, it inspired her to write that amazing song. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any other suggestions for any other songs, let me know. And if you want to donate, my PayPal's in the description below. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.